This Chef's Kitchen podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. Today I'm joined by Chef Matt Levin of Adsum Restaurant and also Miss Kate from the Restaurant School. Well, one of the things we're going to be making, we're going to start with uh, the basis of our lentil vinaigrette. We're going to be making striped bass okay. with tomato confit that Kate's going to help us with. Um, we're going to start by cooking a little bit of lentils just inside of some butter. I'm sweating out a little bit of just basic brunoise mirepoix, carrots, onions, and celery. Carrots, onions, celery, nothing, basic mirepoix. Nothing crazy. Just sweat that inside of a little bit of butter. We're going to use Pellegrino. That's an interesting ingredient to add. It is has the sparkling. It now? has the absolute perfect amount of salt to cook lentils. Turn that down. Let that simmer. Kate, if you want to start on the tomatoes, what we're going to be doing is making basically a tomato confit. So really, what we're going to do is just you know, confit is, is literally means cooking in its own fat. Yes. So obviously, tomatoes don't have any fat in them. So we're going to be using a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Kate's going to cut those tomatoes for us. Put them inside of a bowl. A little bit of fresh herbs, some shallots, salt and pepper, and then kind of leave them next to the heat so they just kind of, you know. Okay, so we don't want direct heat on that. We, we want don't them want to direct just heat. We just want them to kind of like warm up next warm to the Warm up heat. and like love okay. each other. Inside of this heavy pan, we're going to start to render some merguez sausage that we make in the restaurant, which is a lamb sausage. Has a lot of paprika. Merguez sausage. Merguez, yes. So we just want that to kind of caramelize a little bit. Um, and all that fat that's rendering out, this is basically gonna act as our vinaigrette for the fish. Okay, very good. So we want that fat to render out. We want this to get nice and, see how it's starting to brown up a little yes. bit? Yes. Let that get nice and crispy. For a little bit of olive oil. Mm -hmm. So inside of that bowl, we have a little bit of shallots, extra virgin olive oil, fresh basil, a little bit of fresh oregano, those super heirloom tomatoes. If you wanna hit that with a little bit of salt and pepper, Kate, we'll be good to go. And so all of these great ingredients are going to be next to our heat and sort of melding all together. That's caramelizing good. We add a little bit of garlic just for a little bit of additional flavor. Okay. You know what, Kate, wanna do me a favor? Can you take some of those tomatoes, just like you cut them like that, but maybe a little smaller? We'll add those right into here. Sure. That'll start to break down. Some of the liquid will deglaze um, some of the fond from the sausage in the pan. Perfect. We're gonna take a little bit of sherry vinegar. Okay. Add that right to that. One of the things that we're gonna be using, the, the main component of the dish is wild striped bass. So inside of a saute pan, we'll take a little bit of olive oil, just flesh side down, right into that hot oil. We're not gonna get a, a, a real gigantic sear on this side. We're just gonna basically, you know, put a light sear, flip it over. I guess it wouldn't be me if we didn't add like an ungodly amount of butter. <laughs> so we'll add a little bit of garlic to the pan, a little bit of fresh thyme. That kind of like imparts some flavor into the butter. Yes. So we're just gonna base that fish up nice. Very nice. Basting Can you give that a little stir for me? Make sure, actually, you know what? Let's put that a little closer to the heat so we get a little bit more warmth. Let's check the lentils, see how they're going. They should be pretty close. Probably about a minute. So inside of the saute pan, these are a little bit of snow pea greens. Oh, I love snow pea greens. So this is gonna act as like our greens on the bottom of the dish, so. So lentils are cooked. Add some of those right into. And again, we fully cooked them. You didn't want them to be any al dente. Exactly. So we'll add some of those. A little bit of liquid is fine. What a beautiful mixture. Just a little bit of the snow pea greens right on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Piece of that fish, skin's nice and crispy. Yes, beautiful. A little bit of that tomato confit that Kate made right over the top. And then that lentil vinaigrette. Are we ready to Absolutely. To dine? Let's eat. Dive in, Kate. Mm. Absolutely. You don't have to tell me twice. That is soulful food. Lots of flavor. Tomato adds a real nice punch. That's good. Beautifully cooked, beautifully e executed. This Chef's Kitchen podcast was brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. Log on now for over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player.